Welcome to 12 East 63rd Street on Manhattan's Upper East Side. Six story, 25 foot wide, 13,000 square foot limestone mansion. Seven bedrooms, 10 and a half bathrooms, asking $67 million. Come on in. So this is one of the most spectacular, if not the most spectacular floor in any house or apartment in New York City. And I'm gonna show you why. Yes, the sound you hear is the waterfall overlooking the indoor swimming pool and lounging area. This is half of the spa floor. This is where you go to get some exercise on a rainy day when you don't feel like leaving the house and you just wanna swim a few laps. So right off the pool area is another bar room. This is great for a juice press after you're exhausted from your exercise. You have your spa bathroom. You have your steam, sauna, shower room. What is a spa floor without a private massage room? Can you imagine how stressful it must be having to live in a house like this? You probably need a massage once a week. Your private gym. This also is part of that three-story window wall atrium. You have more than you have in your average upscale health club in New York City. Think of the money you can save by not having to pay for a gym membership. So I love the kitchen and breakfast area. I like to have my coffee overlooking some sunshine and some light. So you got this great kitchen here. So I know you're probably thinking, Wow, this is a beautiful dining room, but this isn't the dining room. This is the breakfast room. There is a formal dining room that seats about 50 people on the upper floors. Let me tell you a little bit about this three-story atrium. It runs the entire three-story west side of the house so that you could feel like you were looking into nature. It gives light and breath and relaxation to your breakfast room and the other two floors. So as you come up to the second floor landing, you're greeted by this spectacular screening room. You have an 80 inch flat screen TV, you have a fireplace, and you have theater seating, but not in the traditional way. All of this furniture was designed specifically for this room. It's soundproofed and the walls are lined. And this really is the core of your informal living. So let's say you're watching a movie late at night and you don't feel like going home. Maybe you don't want to drive. You have two guest bedrooms right here off the same landing. So what's so cool about this guest suite is that you're opening up these French doors thinking you're getting fresh air. This is part of that temperature controlled three story atrium that goes all the way up the west side of the house. You can get fresh air and not have to worry if it's 30 degrees outside. So now we're approaching the third floor landing. It's really the formal floor of the house. This is the floor where you have a dinner party for the presidents or heads of state or royalty, which quite honestly, they have had here. And doesn't everybody need a two-story living room with the Juliet balcony overhead? Every room has at least one flat screen TV. Take a look above the fireplace. TV's on, but when it's not, it looks like a mirror. The upper part of the living room have custom built-in bookcases. It serves as a library. So now we're entering the dining room. I personally haven't had dinner here, but I wouldn't mind. Here is your service kitchen, your butler's pantry. You have a dumb waiter, so the food comes up to you. So I've been told that they have dinner parties for anywhere from 10 to 40 people. When you're done eating, there's some outdoor space. The house has outdoor space on every floor. So we're now on the fifth floor landing. This has two more bedrooms, two more bathrooms. The problem with having a great dinner here or screening a first run movie is that once you get inside this house, you never want to leave. So remember, this is two of seven bedrooms in the house. What do you do with all that space? So we're on the sixth floor or the top floor of the house, which is the master bedroom suite. So what's amazing about this space is that not only do you have a fireplace, but you have your own private terrace on the other side of this floor is the master bath and dressing area. So the dressing room was originally a bedroom that was converted into a dressing room. Wall-to-wall -wall closets, and it opens up into the master bath. 
So the master bath is like a spa onto itself. You have your double sinks, you have your steam shower, you have your jacuzzi tub. All the marble was hand cut on site. And just look at the natural light. Off the master bedroom, I want to take you upstairs to the roof terrace. So I know you're probably thinking, wow, this is the entire roof of the house, which has outdoor lounging, outdoor dining. Some restaurants don't have this much outdoor space. You have four exposures from this roof. We're looking towards Midtown Manhattan, and behind me, there are views of Central Park. So we're in the lounging part of the terrace. I'm sorry for my hand, but the sun is blaring on my head. I don't know what else to say other than it's pretty fabulous. This house has everything you could even imagine. There's nothing more you could possibly think of that you would want to put into a house. So if you're in the market for a $67 million house in the middle of Manhattan's Upper East Side, give me a call.